my swollen feet. Are your legs swollen and you have no idea why? In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about peripheral edema and what you can do about it. Let's dive in. Swelling in your legs can be worrying, but let's break it down. Your body contains water both inside and outside of your cells. Two thirds is inside the cells while the rest is outside. Of the water outside, a quarter is in your blood, while the rest, three quarters, are between your cells. Edema happens when the fluid collects in that space. So why does fluid end up there? Well, several reasons, and we're going to get into some science here. Increase oncotic pressure, or the pressure that draws water in in the interstitial space. And increase hydrostatic pressure, which is the pressure that pushes water out in the blood vessels. Increase permeability, so the leakiness of the blood vessel walls causing the fluid to leak out. And lastly, poor lymphatic drainage, causing backup of the fluid from leaving the tissue. Let's look at different causes of peripheral edema. First, the common and less scary ones. Chronic venous insufficiency is probably the most common. It is due to poor blood return to the heart due to bad valves in your veins. Your veins don't squeeze like arteries do. So it's got these valves that prevent backup. When they're not working, all the blood pools there and they start leaking out. Lymphedema, where you have blocked lymphatic drainage causing all the fluid to collect in the tissues. Holy moly! Some medications like calcium channel blockers or amlodipines, steroids or hormones like estrogen can cause swelling. Other than that, thyroid issues, obstructive sleep apnea and pregnancy are also culprits. Now let's discuss the more serious causes. Deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot that's blocking the veins. Infection like cellulitis, an infection of the soft tissues in your leg due to bug bites, cuts or traumas. Heart failure when the heart can't pump blood effectively. It leads to fluid buildup in the pipes. So serious. Cirrhosis and renal failure, where you have liver and kidney issues that disrupt your fluid balance and proteins. So how can you tell what might be causing your edema? Here are some clues. Is it one leg or is it both legs that are swollen? If it's swelling in just one leg, it can be a sign of DVT or infection. When it is both legs, it is more likely to be due to chronic venous insufficiency, pregnancy, medication, or conditions like heart, kidney, and liver problems. Is it acute? Or is it chronic? Has it been there for more than three months? If it's acute, sudden, it might suggest, again, deep vein thrombosis, infection, or sudden cardiac or kidney failure. If it's been there for a while, then it's more associated with venous valve issues, like chronic venous insufficiency, lymphedema, or ongoing medication use, thyroid, pregnancy, or sleep apnea as well. So what can you do about it? Here's a basic approach. For acute causes, it's important that we rule out deep vein thrombosis and infection with blood tests and ultrasounds. Check for the heart, kidney, and liver function, and stop any new medications that might be contributing to this problem. Once we make sure all the serious causes are taken care of, the basic approach for all types of swelling would be compression stockings. This is going to be your best friend. There are many types, elastic, adjustable ones, and intermittent pneumatic compression, where the device pumps air to squeeze those legs and act like pumps to push all the blood back into your circulation. Weight loss is key. Physical therapy can help as well. Phlebotonics are medications or supplements that increase the tone of your blood vessels so that we can pump blood throughout the circulation as well. There's some evidence to say horse chestnut seeds, ruscus extract, may be helpful in reducing the edema. There are medications like pentoxifilin that can help as well. If all else fails, we're sending you to a vascular surgeon to get evaluated for possible procedures. If you're pregnant, elevating your legs, compression stocking, I'm gonna need you to lie on your left side. and lying on your left side when you sleep so the baby is not collapsing your IVCs or your inferior vena cava would be important. If we determine that the swelling is related to your heart or liver or kidneys, then we will treat with water pills like diuretics to get rid of all that fluid that's collecting. You might have to be on this long term and watch your weight daily. If it's DVT, we'll treat it with some blood thinners. In summary, leg swelling has many causes. Often it's benign and manageable with basic interventions like compression stockings, leg elevation, exercise, and weight management. But remember, if your swelling is in one leg only, it's sudden or it's super painful, go see your doctor immediately. It could be something serious like DVT, cellulitis, or an acute issue with your heart, liver, or kidneys.